Pleased to introduce uh, Councilman Marquise Harris Dawson, President and CEO of Community Coalition, having been elected to the LA City Council in 2015. His trajectory is a trajectory that marks really the trajectory of Los Angeles. He, like so many others, came to the realization that South LA was the place where the work really needed to happen, where the alliances could be formed and the future could be forged for a better Los Angeles. Further away I think we get from the civil unrest, the more simple people try to make it. It goes from being about the economy and housing and jobs and the industrial sector and the war on drugs and substance abuse and gang violence to being simply about the one beating on the side of the road and the one video and the one uh, verdict. What I remember most about 1992 and leading up to it is the amount of anger, frustration, and despair that you would feel on a routine basis. At the same time, we have gang violence that has grown out of control in the neighborhood. Young people are dying and there's no real response. And then you put on top of that, the Rodney King beating on the side of the road where we all said, finally, it's on camera. Everybody can see it and so the world has to acknowledge what happens here in LA and what has been being documented. And then we get the verdict. There's a little bit of tension, but only a short amount of time before uh, the verdict gives way to what we now know as the civil unrest. Many people would argue that this is the time when black flight from the city of Los Angeles and the county of Los Angeles to the excerpts began in earnest. But then there were those who said, we're gonna stay uh, there was the Don't Move and Prove movement and a host of others and said, we're going to try to make this thing work uh, for all of us. And in that time period is when you see uh, what I think has been a renaissance or what now establishes is established as a renaissance of both civic engagement and community organizing. Orange County was bright red as a county. Orange County used to routinely outvote South LA and, and LA County per capita. All of that's flipped. Orange County's no longer red. Orange County no longer outvotes LA County. Orange County doesn't even outvote South LA anymore per capita because of the voter engagement work uh, that folks have done. Then at a more granular level, there was organizing. And so there was the work at uh, Scope around jobs and dignity for people on welfare and coming out of welfare. There was the work at the LA Alliance for a New Economy. Those organizations really got going and got energy from people's responses to the 1992 civil unrest. Now we sit uh, here in Los Angeles after that renaissance and after that work is being done with some very serious challenges in front of us. Policing still has lots of problems in Los Angeles and beyond, but the LAPD is nothing like it was in 1992. The problem with the Rodney King case was most people acknowledged that the police hadn't done what they were supposed to do Everybody expected the judicial system to do what it was supposed to do. There are still uh, lots of laws that advantage law enforcement and create a situation where even evidence that we know about, like the video, uh, uh, the video footage from a police camera, cannot be used in a case involving a police officer. What has not changed and has been the most troubling and the stickiest is the financial sector. And so routinely what you st see is the same redlining, the same benign neglect, the same unspoken implicit racism is still there and it still rears its ugly head almost every time uh, the issue of economic development and real estate development comes up uh, in our community. And so we taxed ourselves to rebuild the transportation system. We're taxing ourselves to rebuild a housing system for very, very poor people, the poorest people that there are. We taxed ourselves to rebuild our community college system. Southern California, Los Angeles, and South Los Angeles, I think is a story of resilience and a story of what people can do when they decide to take their future into their own hands.